Hi, good morning. Oh my goodness. We got some good sleep last night, huh? We were in bed early. We got some good rest. I sleep the best in my van. Actually, I think both of us do. I think no matter where I'm at, my own house or my mom's house, we sleep best in our van. I had the heating blanket. I didn't need the heater last night, and it's about 9 a.m., 60 degrees in the van. It's perfect. I even have the door cracked a little bit. Just made my coffee, and I made one of my short videos about how to make coffee in your van, so be looking for that. Just one of my new five-minute videos on that playlist I created. What is this? <laughs> so we're going to snuggle and drink coffee now. But I have a feeling it's going to be a good day. We have a lot of good stuff going on today, y'all. Look at this campsite. Like, literally, yes, please. This weather is my ideal weather. High 60s, breeze, 40s at night. I am feeling reinvigorated, especially because I got good sleep last night. So I have my shower water out underneath my bucket. My solar's charging. I have my solar lights charging. Winston's in his playpen. I got my shower tent up. I also unboxed my new shower, which is exactly the same as my other one. Um, but I've had this, like, I've had my new shower sitting in my garage for almost a year. So I gave Todd my old one. And even though it's still, it's in perfectly working condition. And then I just unboxed my new one. Plus it's green, so it'll match my shower tent. I'm going to make some bacon and eggs here for lunch. I am listening to sports radio and... You guys are pretty funny about this this outhouse. So this is a waste management outhouse, which means that it comes from like the biggest uh, waste management company here in Arizona. I again, I'm thinking it was either from an event or from some sort of work that was going on here in the forest. But I promise you there's no decomposing bodies inside. There's no smells. There's no liquid. There's no waste. There's no unusual insect activity. So, um, yeah, kind of bizarre. But I was thinking about it, and, and I'm, I'm kind of surprised no one's asked me, like, why out of all the spots that you could be, you parked right next to it. But it's because the spot that I'm in has the perfect amount of shade and sun. It's nice and level. I did think about moving over here where all these pine cones are, but, and you know, there's a fire pit there, but the issue is it has sun like all day. And even in this nice weather, I really like to have shade. And this UV index is so high in this elevation. So it gets much warmer than you would think. And I don't want the sun beating on my van in the morning. My van right here is shaded in the morning. And as you can see, I have a lot of shade. So this spot works out really well for me. I also, even though there's a camper over there and one over there, I haven't even seen or heard people over there. Um, this spot is just more private because I can't really, we can't really see each other beyond the trees. So that's why I chose this spot. We just took a walk, kind of went like way down there and way up there. I left my phone at camp because oftentimes when I walk with Winston, I really like to be mindful and present and just enjoy that time with him. Mindfulness is honestly something I've been lacking lately and it's a daily practice. And my mindfulness just has not been where it needs to be. So we enjoyed a walk. It's about 1.30. Going to take my shower soon. It's so quiet and peaceful.
What do you have? Do you want to give me one of your toys? Give me your keys. Give me your keys. Oh, you don't want to play? Oh my goodness. Who made you so handsome? Who made you mommy's handsome boy? Wow, you're the cutest boy I ever see. I ever did see. Mommy's. those keys where are you gonna drive to huh give me those keys was that it <laughs> oh my goodness Oh my goodness, everyone just thinks you're the cutest. Bless you, bless you. It's about 5 p.m. Starting to get a little bit chilly out. I just put on my sweatshirt, have my pants on, but not complaining because we are kind of at the end of our chilly evenings. But it is stunning. I still have the trunk open as well. I mean, because the sun doesn't go down until about 7, seven or so. So we still have a couple of hours, but I'm sure kiddo will want to get in the van with me soon. He's pretty tired because we took a couple walks today, got some playtime in, and, you know, he barked at things, so. Y'all, I need to work on my sandal tan, and I realized that a lot of you for a while have been asking me about the meaning of the tattoos on my feet. <laughs> And honestly, I don't really know why I haven't shared. I have no reason. I actually, I love my foot tattoos. I, oh, you okay? Oh. You good, son? You okay? Okay. Um, I love my foot tattoos. So this foot right here, this is an upside down. Well, if you're looking at me, it's right side up. It's a paw print wrapped in a bandage that says rescued because I've been in animal rescue work since I was about 19 years old. And all of my animals have been uh, fosters or rescues. So of course, kiddo is a rescue. Um, so rescued for all, the, for all the babies, furry babies. This one, so this Jolly Roger, the skull and the swords, this was my very first tattoo. I got it in Tucson, Arizona when I was 19 years old. I freaking love that thing. I'm a history major. My bachelor's degree is in history and culture. And Captain Calico Jack Rackham back in the 1700s was the first pirate to fly the Jolly Roger. And his swords symbolize freedom and bravery. So I have this scroll that says bravery. Um, again, the one of the swords symbolizes bravery. But I got the bravery scroll when my friend Michael Miller died in Afghanistan in combat in 2007 and then the anchor is hanging from the freedom sword because ultimate freedom is my anchor in life so those are my foot tattoos lots of meaning and I absolutely love them so I've had them for a very long time I got this one in 2011 and then again, this one was piecemealed together, but this one was done by like, I think that the anchor is the last piece I got, I think in like 2010. So yeah.
Man, I'm listening to my sports radio. I just, I can't believe how bad the Phoenix Suns were in the playoffs. Ugh, just, but, you know, I knew it was going to happen. Just freaking awful. Okay, so I've been, ha my, my shelf has been a little bit wonky. This metal shelf, I love this thing. Um, it's probably the piece of furniture I've used in my trunk space the longest. Uh, probably at least, like, at least a year and a half. So, anyways... One of my legs, I think this leg down here is kind of like broken, so it's a little bit uneven. I'm going to have to mess with it. And then I notice that this shelf is a little bit lower on this side, but this piece of plastic is broken. These plastic pieces are what keeps it up, so I'm just going to fix that and adjust it quickly. Since I noticed in a video yesterday, it was kind of kind of unlevel, and I didn't like it. Y'all, it is 63 degrees right now and sunny with a breeze. Like, you you might want to be jealous. Like, it's a high of 67 today. That's gorgeous. Okay, so let's see. Perfect. That's all it took. Took two little, two little hits with my mallet here. Okay, so that should be adjusted. This is the stuff I do, guys. This is the stuff I do. People are like, do you have hobbies? Yeah. My hobbies are working on my van. Makes me happy. I wanted to remind you folks that I still have my two sticker bundles uh, available for purchase. Link is in the description. These are the stickers. My Adventuring with Amanda. Other Adventuring with Amanda. Now, I only have 10 of these bundles left. And when they're sold out, honestly... I'm not sure when I'm going to get more stickers. So uh, this might be a limited run. I might not get these again. So get yours. Again, there are 10 bundles left. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Um, so I wanted to remind you of that. Now, also, if you haven't joined my Adventuring with Amanda Facebook group, please feel free. Everybody's welcome. As long as you answer the approval questions, you will get declined if you don't answer the questions. Um, but I really enjoy, um, I enjoy what everybody else shares in that group. I love seeing other people's pictures of their adventures and their rigs and stuff. So much fun. That is so much fun for me. I just love it. Cause I, I don't like when it's like all about me. I want to see other people's stuff, right? I want to see other people's rigs and whatnot. So, so you can join that if you're interested. And with all of that being said, I will wrap up this life at camp video. Stay tuned for more. Probably in tomorrow's video, I'll have Winston open his bark box. Also, remember that I just started that playlist with five minute or less helpful content on it. So far on that playlist, I have how to use Amazon lockers, how to make coffee in your van, how to level your van, and how to shower while camping. So strictly informative, helpful topics. And if you have ideas for that playlist, be sure to drop them for me in the comments. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video all the way through. As usual, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're new here, you're interested in camping and van life and traveling with a dog, I got you covered. Thank you so much, guys. I love you all. See you next time.